wanted to talk a little bit more about hedge funds with you. It's kind yeah. of become a really dirty word in Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. um, uh, why do you think that is? Well, I think one reason is what we just discussed, which is uh, that the transparency, the level of transparency has not been acceptable uh, in how these uh, funds are investing uh, the state's taxpayer dollars. Uh, the other uh, problem is the fees are so high in so many of these hedge funds. Um, uh, ridiculously high. I read an article a few weeks ago that uh, last year the four wealthiest hedge fund managers in the country made more money than all of the country's kindergarten teachers combined. <laughs> I mean, what is wrong with us as a country when, when that's you know what we're willing to put up with? Um, so I do think that's why um, uh, uh, hedge funds are becoming a dirty word, and rightfully so. It's not so, so much what they do, but how much money the people who yeah. run them earn. Yeah, well, when it comes to what they do, uh, hedge funds, are, that's actually a blanket term that can mean a lot of different things. Uh, there are some hedge funds that um, are actually surprisingly old-fashioned in their investment styles, and then there are others that do more sophisticated, possibly sketchy things that, that we wouldn't want to put the state's money in. So I don't want to make a blanket statement about what hedge funds do because there's a lot of diversity within that category. Yeah. Um, but no, I do think that for most people, for the average you know, people uh, in Rhode Island, um, you know, they don't pretend to be financial experts and they don't pretend to know everything that a hedge fund does, but they do know that at a gut level, if this is public money, we ought to have public disclosure about how it's being invested. And they also, I think, have a gut feeling that the fees that we're paying to these managers are too high and that uh, the money that's being made on Wall Street uh, is out of control and is not in line with historical norms. Yeah. Would you have signed those contracts in the first place for the public's money to be invested in hedge funds or any kind of funds that are making yeah. people... Well, I would have, I would have uh, uh, demanded a higher level of transparency, and if, I, uh, uh, and if they were not okay with that, then I would have walked away. Uh, and that's going to be my policy going forward. I think we have to draw a very hard line when it comes to transparency and how the public's funds are invested. Uh, and then when it comes to uh, the fees, the idea that I've been floating is uh, big states like New York and California pay a lower rate uh, for the funds uh, uh, that they hire, not just hedge funds, but all kinds of funds, because they're big states. They have that bargaining power to negotiate those fees down. I want Rhode Island to get together with other small states and cities, uh, go out to bid for funds as a group, so that we can increase our bargaining power to bring those fees down, uh, so that more of that money stays here in the pension system instead of going to Rhode Island. You know, um, it's like anything else. It's like when you see. Uh, uh, you know, boycotts to get companies uh, in the retail space to behave more responsibly. When the consumers, the buyers of a product, band together, uh, there can be a lot of power in that. And in this case, Rhode Island and other small states and large cities, we are the buyers of these investment products and we ought to stand up for ourselves. Yeah, so they call it 2 in 20, right? What is it that's set in stone about that? Oh, nothing at all. It's nothing just is, that's what they're asking for, and yeah. we're like, okay, we'll give it's you what been, you're asking yeah, for. Yeah, it's, it's been the industry standard for a while, but that really came about in the 90s when you know, the stock market was uh, you know, just um, uh, soaring, and uh, people didn't really care much what the fees were because they were making money hand over fist. Uh, now times are different. <laughs> We've been through a great recession, and we know that... Uh, those kinds of fees aren't justified anymore. And uh, I do think that when you talk to uh, other investors, uh, and especially investors of pension funds and, and uh, public dollars, there's a growing awareness that that old 2 and 20 fee structure paradigm just isn't appropriate, and uh, we need to be doing more to exert some power uh, against these fund managers.